I would like to think that the only time I ever really, truly, 100% unequivocally faked something in my entire life was that one time in high school biology class in which I had an unfortunate date with an earthworm. In that high school biology class, like most high school biology classes, we were required to do dissections. And though I had absolutely no interest in opening up an earthworm to see what was inside, my lab partner certainly did. So I let him do all the work, as it were, while I took very thorough and very impressive lab notes instead. The only problem with this plan came on the day of the final dissection exam, when I wasn't in school. Which means I had to make up the final exam, which means my partner, who's probably a cardiothoracic surgeon at John Hopkins by now, wouldn't be there with me. Which means it would just be me, my earthworm, a surgical blade, a wing, and a prayer. So I faked it. Honest to God, I cut the thing open, pretended I had any sort of clue where the little pins were supposed to go, and sheepishly called over my teacher for the final grade. No joke, when he asked me where their brain was, I actually said to him with a straight face, don't worry, it's in there, I promise. Let's be clear though, I was embarrassed. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't want to know what I was doing. I was totally out of my league and I knew it. The parable in today's gospel reading is supposed to be one of the easy ones. It starts out with a Pharisee and a tax collector going to the temple in Jerusalem. We're supposed to compare them, right? This parable is perfectly designed so that we compare these two men. On the one hand, a Pharisee who fasts twice a week and gives a tenth of his income. On the other hand, a tax collector who unabashedly benefits from his neighbor's oppression by the Roman Empire. Now comes the magic of the parable. In Luke's telling of the story, the same tax collector is praised and, well, the Pharisee, despite his good works, goes away weeping. And this is great, right? Perfect for a Reformation Sunday when this reading was read, because not only do I get to preach against works, but if I wanted to, I could tap into Luther's anti-Semitism. Jesus, on the other hand, just wanted to tell a story about a couple of guys, a Pharisee and a tax collector, who showed up to the temple to pray. It's probably an important detail, right? The fact that this parable doesn't take place in Galilee, or at a synagogue, or even at Park Square. It happens inside the Jerusalem temple, a sacred site for first century Jews who made pilgrimage during major festivals. You know, like the Pharisee did. And not only did he show up to the temple, he even fasted before he got there and gave 10% of his income in alms. Not because he intrinsically knew to do that, but because someone once taught him. But you know who probably hadn't been to the temple before? The tax collector. He didn't know where to go, what to do, how to pray. The reason he didn't look to heaven was probably because he didn't know he was supposed to. In other words, the tax collector was faking it. He didn't have any help from his lab partner. All he had to go on was himself, a hope, a dream, a temple, a wing, and a prayer. If you can relate to getting caught in freshman bio having no idea what you're doing, if you've ever been out of your league in a place where you don't feel like you belong, you have more in common with this tax collector than you realize. Making the good news of the gospel not that self-effacing tax collectors are always necessarily better than self-congratulatory Pharisees, but that even when you don't know what you're doing, even when you don't even want to know what you're doing, there is a place for you in this world, and God knows you belong in it. On the day we read this gospel, we celebrate Reformation Sunday, which is just a fancy way of saying we commemorated that time that a radically imperfect person named Martin Luther told anybody who would listen that actually all of God's people have access to God. God is not limited to those who read Latin, not limited to those who pray only the best prayers, not limited to those who give 10% of their income, not limited to those who know how to dissect an earthworm, not limited to those who always seem to know what they're doing. In fact, God's grace is for the rest of us too. And perhaps that tax collector is in fact the rest of us who sometimes feel like we don't belong, who don't always know what we're doing, who sometimes have to fake it, but who show up having nothing yet leaving 
possessing everything. And all God's people said, Amen. Thank <laughs> you.